What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fist back again, uh, doing a deck review today. Uh, I know I've been posting a whole lot of videos, shorts and whatnot, trying to get a little bit better on some short content. So hopefully you've been enjoying that. But today I got a little bit of a long content for you as well. So today, um, so in chat, I was having a struggle trying to get to the 90s this time to get to infinite. You guys know I'm not the most competitive snap player, um, but I was making so many decks. Obviously, I was, this was during the time when Leech was a four drop. He just got changed today to a five drop. Thank God, first of all. But it was just tough. Every single game I was getting in, I was just getting like demolished. Um, every single outplay where it was like, the only way I'll lose is if they have this, they would have that. And it was, it was, it was honestly, it was a bloodbath. It took me like five days of really pushing to get through the nineties. It was, it was stinky. Anyways, um, one of my, uh, chatters or troopers, however you want to, you know, label them. Uh, his name is Shraz, uh, with lots of A's and lots of Z's. He was asking me to play with this deck and, um, pause uh he was asking me to utilize his deck that he was recommending and um i asked him to put it in my little my little discord chat uh decks for loopy and i decided to play it the next day um i was kind of headstrong on playing what i wanted to but this deck actually allowed me to make it to um infinite uh, this deck was phenomenal it's it's a it's a nomura deck but it was winning like crazy uh, and the main thing about it is the with with well, I'll break it down for you pretty much But it's things like scar and red hulk just having so much power and being able to keep up with everybody else Because this deck has a lot of things that other decks kind of have but also having cosmo helps out a lot And it can just come in clutch a lot. So um, like I was saying cards like Nebula are just there because you need to be able to lay some stuff out early um, same thing goes for cards like America Chavez. But cool thing about America Chavez is that you can hit some of your cards, like maybe you get a 310 Gladiator, and then you will actually end up having a discount on your Scar, which can be really nice. Um, I'd also love the fact that Namor is in here, which is still funny that I don't have a variant for him, but Namor being in here is really clutch because he is over that threshold of 10 power to give you a reduced Scar as well. So you can kind of get a lot of cards out pretty early. You can obviously change some things. You don't have to go with Nebula. You don't have to go with America Chavez, uh, RIP to America Chavez, first of all. Um, but they're just nice to have. Now the armor, obviously armor and Cosmo come into play because you can't really do anything to them. But so I guess you can enchant the armor and then you can kill it. But for the most part, if you want to hit a Nomura, well then there you go. You can actually hit a Nomura on this, buff it up. You ain't got to worry about them doing much to it, especially with your Cosmo, because you can't do anything to Cosmo once he's laying down there. So pretty nice, pretty good buff. Now, the big cards that we have are going to be Ronin, obviously. We have Maximus to help you out to uh, get a little bit more points on Ronin, but Ronin is already like super huge. And a lot of these decks that were uh, playing these huge cards are only playing like one card a turn. So you can really uh, just kind of scope out and be like, yeah, they're not going to have enough. Um, especially if they're doing stuff like Red, Red Hulk and whatnot. So you can kind of space it out and know what's going to be going down. And it's just nice to have um, a card that is ongoing because sometimes Onslaught Citadel is there. You know, it's really nice, stuff like that. Of course, like I said, Scar's gonna be getting discounted whenever you have a card over 10. It's just sometimes you can get him down, most of the time I was getting down to a two, um, a 211, which is nice. Uh, and sometimes that ends up being a 213 if you get it hit by America Chavez, which is, you know, it just depends on what you get hit. Um, of course, Nomura, you wanna play around being able to lay down two things and lanes by themselves. So you're gonna have one lane that's kind of like slave lane where you're just throwing stuff in there. I sometimes like to put my um, Nebula in that lane and perhaps even my Hope Summers. That way I know that I'm gonna be getting a little bit of extra energy those next coming turns. But Hope Summers is really there just because sometimes you wanna lay out your Hulk a little bit earlier. That's really about it. Um, you don't have to worry about anything else really. Um, Things should be going very well with this deck. I really enjoy playing with this deck and we 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 pretty much we flew. We flew to uh infinite. We I mean so many so many times I was in like I made it to 99 maybe four to five times 
and then went right back down to 92. That's how bad the meta was playing with Leech and um, um, the Blink. Leech Blink is, I sound, like a, I sound like an elderly person just talking like this. But yeah, it was, it was crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoy the deck. Here are some videos from uh, me reaching infinite. Some clips, not videos. I'm so stupid. Anyways, I'm not getting it out. Anyways, catch you guys later. Bye. Hanging in there, bud. How are you? I'm doing okay. No complaints. I'm playing this because I really want to be able to play something. I want to be able to pull something next turn. He made sure to play something that time, huh? Damn. Screw this game, man. This game fucking hates us. Aren't you a hater? How did he know? We'll see how big Blob gets, I guess. Snap decided nobody gets to play their decks today. I'm just gonna take it all. What's up, Lupus Alley Upus? That's a new one. Lupus Alley Upus. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. You think he has. Well, he got Killmonger from this Triskelion. Do you think he has. Watch your collar. He has to beat 10 power over here, two power over here, which you can do that, but he also has to win over here too. Let's see. Mm, nope. Nice try, guy. Nice try. And that's why we snapped. Because I did not think he had the nuts. I did add this the other day, though, so I can turn these off. Oh, I need to make it to where they slide out, though. I haven't done that yet. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to do, though, to be honest. Right, let's go ahead and just lose the two cubes. If they would have snapped, I would have definitely left. Because it's like, what the fuck? It's like, that's that's one of the worst things about Hella. Is that it, on, on paper, it looks like you can win, but she just unpacks so much power, man. Honestly, Hella should probably lose. I mean, even herself. Hella should probably be a 6-0. I feel like Hella should be a 6-0. Or for every card that's discarded, Hella loses two power. Because that's just, it's just too crazy, you know? And I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not ragging on, I don't really care, but I think that that's, oh shit. Kazuma, see? I told you. I told you I wasn't gonna remember. <laughs> that's hilarious. Told you I was not gonna remember. We'll be done in like four minutes. That's not a fair trade.
Armor Park in places clog. I don't think it is though. You play Pixie. Okay, he doesn't have enough room to play all these cars now, though. Oh, shit. I'm gonna snap on that. It was clogged. You're, you're right. Um, I mean, I was thinking about just doing this. He can't even play. He has seven cards in his hand. He's not gonna be able to play all of them. He can play two cards. <laughs> he can't get rid of this, so. I'll also do this. Cause I have a 19 power of Ronin, so. Hulk mid, why? I don't know what he's about to do, but he can't win over here. And I don't know what he's about to do. What is he going to do? Is he going to try to destroy this with cannonball? Death strike. Lady death strike where? <laughs> he can, he can play. He can only play here or here. He can move Jeff. That's it. But this wins over here. He plays one card. He can only play one card. And that takes this to 17. Blue Marvel? Yo, if it's Blue Marvel, I would be so upset. No. It's not Blue Marvel. He didn't think I had a big enough car, though. It's kind of funny. Arriva Darchi! Yeah, he also played here, which gave him a Nora, too. So I was like, what? Yo! Need for CJ! Welcome to the Loop Troop. Your name brings back memories of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. I really want to play it. A cubes? Yes. Yeah, I told I'm not even worried about Infinite no more, man. It, it is what it is. We get it, we get it, we don't. It's whatever. Dropping down to 80s could happen. Was that you, CJ? Or were you just saying GG's? I feel you. We're going to get rid of two of us. This is it. Just don't get scared now. Kevin McAllister. Ah, I'm not scared. Oh, hello, Mystique. Goodbye, Mystique. Bam. He got rid of one of the cards I didn't care about that much, so that's fine. No, not my round. Sorry, I'm slow. No, you're good. I'm gonna go into the Gladiator on the Namor as well. <laughs> the Namor. <laughs> Sentences. It's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, lame 
Nay, I'm not gonna lie. Got fancy. I think he's gonna do onslaught. Should I just leave? Okay, let's see. If he plays Tribunal right now, how much power is that gonna be? So nine power here. Nine, nine plus seven is 16. 16 times two times two. So 32, 64. 64, 67, 68, 69. It's 30 in each lane. Can I beat that? So I don't have to play anything here pretty much. What if it's Tribunal along with um, our Ant-Man? We're adding, ten, we're adding over 30 over here too. Okay, it's just Tribunal. Perfect. There we go, guys. We got infinite. I told you I wasn't going to pop off. It's whatever. It's whatever. All that hard work. My God. <laughs>